Assiniboine Hounds is pleased to present our featured race here in race number six. It's the 61st running of the $30,000 Gold Cup at a distance of a mile and an eighth. Number one is Pete Marwick, owned by Al Johnson, trained by Gary Donaldson, with Ronaldo Cumberbatch. Number two is Mechanical, owned by Angel and Andre Ellis Racing, trained by Maria Stanford with Richard Mares. Number three is Galitzi Honor, owned and trained by Linda Cropius, Stanley Chady Jr. aboard. Number four is Media Melee, owned by John Gannis, trained by Stephen Gaskin with Kayla Pizarro. Number five is Witt's Dollar Night, owned by Henry Witt Jr., trained by Jerry Garno, with Chavi and Chow. Rounding out our featured field is number six, Plentiful, owned by Murray Duncan and the estate of Gerald B. Stewart, trained by Murray Duncan with Tyrone Nelson. Following the running of the Gold Cup, a Cineboy Downs is pleased to have on hand Darren Dunn, the CEO, here at Assiniboy Downs to make a presentation to the winning connections. Post time for the Gold Cup, eight minutes away. Now directing your attention to the television monitors is a live pick four tickets. To number one, Pete Marwick, $84. To number two, Mechanical, it will be a carryover. To number three, Glitzy Honor, $12. To number four, Media Melee, $58. To number five, Wits Dollar Night, $105. And to number six, Plentiful, $258. Total live tickets, They're at the pump. And they're off in the 61st running of the Gold Cup. Media Melee quickly out of the starting gate and straight to the early lead. To the outside, which dollar night is going to find some good positioning just on the outside. Settled back in third goal at Sea Honor. To the far outside, Plentiful getting a wide trip. Pete Marwick sitting on the rail in fifth. And Mechanical will be the early trailer. Six off the lead. The opening quarter, 23 and 3. Medium LA and Wits Dollar Night. These two have hooked up. Pete Marwick still sitting on the rail in third. In between horses, Gullet Sea Honor. Three wide to Plentiful and Mechanical will still be the early trailer. The half 49 and three. Medium LA, Wits Dollar Night. Now Galitzi Honor, three wide, four wide to Plentiful and a dream trip in fifth to Peep Marwick. And back to Mechanical, who's now double digits away. Three quarters, 114 and four. Medium LA. Now has the lead by a length. Plentiful in an all-out drive from second. 
on the rail. Pete Marwick in third. Back in fourth. Galiziano still has more to offer. They hit the head of the lane. Medium LA is holding off all challengers. Plentiful is going to try and get there. They're coming to a 16th of a mile. Medium LA. Plentiful's going to give it one last try. Medium LA will take the gold cup. Plentiful in second. Third to beat Marwick and fourth to Witz Dollar Night. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of the 61st running of the Gold Cup. That's number four, Media Melee. Media Melee is a dark bay or brown gelding, five years old by Mass Media, out of the Mare Motel Nurse by Bates Motel. Owned by John Gannis, trained by Stephen Gaskin, and ridden to victory by Kayla Pizarro. Time for the mile and an eighth, one fifty-four and three. Assiniboine Downs is pleased to have on hand Chief Executive Officer Darren Dunn here at Assiniboine Downs to make a presentation to the winning connections. Race six is official in the upcoming seventh race. Scratch number one, Caporetto. That's in this, the seventh race. Scratch number one. Caporetto. Post time for race number seven. 25 minutes away. In closure, ASD Paddock host Rob McLennan has the winning connections of the Gold Cup. Rob, take it away. Thanks, Kurt. Down here at the winning connections of the 61st running of the Gold Cup, Media Melee, Kayla Pizarro, Steve Gaskin, and John Gannis. Here's a horse that uh, has been such a campaigner over the last couple of years here. The beaten favorite last year in this race. He won the Manitoba Mile earlier in the year. Uh, last time, not a, not his top effort came back today, Kayla. The first time you've ridden him, what did you kind of know coming into him, coming into today? Oh, just what Steven and uh, John has told me, and uh, I just listened and just talked to the horse like they told me and it worked out. <laughs> and it ended up working out a gutsy victory wire to wire. Kind of ended up on the front end, set slow fractions, ended up kicking away in the lane and then holding off a late challenge. Talk about your trip here, Kayla. Well, it broke really sharp and I was just following instructions. Just go straight to lead and try to control the pace as much as I could, keep him relaxed and I did. And at the two and a half, I just asked him for everything he got. And he ended up spurting away from you, ended up getting pretty close down at the wire. Talk a little bit about the last few, uh, 70 yards or so, and if you knew you kind of had plentiful put away. Well, I was just looking forward and screaming my head off. There you go, Kayla. Congratulations on a win in the Gold Cup here. Anything else to wrap it up? Well, I'd just like to thank Stephen and John for giving me an opportunity on this really nice horse. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla. Congratulations. We'll move on to Steve here uh, with Media Melee, a horse that, you know what, he doesn't always put two good ones together, but his A game is real good. Talk a little bit about Media here. Well, you know the horse, um, Rob, he's been here for a while, and he normally gives 100% when every time he come out here. Um, last race, he kind of rubbed him a little, so we had to fix that. And, you know, we took a chance to take a change of rider because we wanted to change his running style, and it worked out fine. It certainly did work as he sprinted off to the lead, slowed it down, backed it up, and held on. Talk a little bit about your thoughts during the race. Well, Kayla rode exactly how we, you know, what we talked about, and you know, you can't take away anything. She rode a beautiful race, and it worked out fine in the end, and we're very proud, of, you know. Congratulations, Steve. Anything else to add here as we wrap it up? I want to thank Johnny very much. Thank Kayla. Thank Prince. You know what I mean? Team back in the barn. They did a wonderful job and worked hard all year and success come. So thank you very much. There you go, Steve. Congratulations. We'll move on to John here. Uh, talk a little about Media Melee and the, your thoughts again today and having to survive another inquiry. Well, you know, we've had a tough campaign with this year. We missed the first race. Uh, we had some problems, some issues here and there. And, you know, it's been a tough time getting them to give him his A race and we had, tw you know, weren't sure what we were going to get today 
and you know every time you put this horse in the race at the 16th pole and he's there he's gutsy and he tries his best and more than often he's going to come out on top yeah he certainly is a game horse that's one thing you can't take away from him so talk a little bit what might be next uh is he going to Calgary? Is that kind of the plan? I know the Harvest Plate's kind of sitting out there, but obviously a pretty tough group as well. Yeah, uh, you know, after today's race, you know, he, he looked good. Uh, if he comes back well, I think uh, we'll definitely give Calgary an option. There you go, John. Anything else to wrap up other than a very tremendous timed ride, a uh, beautiful race here by Media Melee, another tremendous victory? I'd just like to thank my trainer again, Steve Gaskin. He gets on this horse every morning, and he's done a bang-up job. Grooms, uh, Prince, you know, he's as good as they get. Spends all the time with this horse. He takes care of him. You know, you can't. Kudos off to them. They, it's, it's their win. You know, I'm just here for long for the ride and enjoying it. Congratulations, John. Media Melee, the winner of the 61st running of the Gold Cup. Caleb Pizarro, Steve Gaskin, John Gannis, and the whole team. Back up to you, Kurt.